Welcome to episode 49 of Morning Coffee Flow, where we drink coffee and do yoga. This energizing 20-minute flow will be an uplifting start to your day and ensure that no matter what comes your way, you'll be able to face it with resilience and grace. This episode of Morning Coffee Flow, we're focusing on the transition between your half frog and that supine twist. Go ahead, roll out your mat, and I'm going to roll the intro screen. Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon Slaughter, helping you discover a fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. Okay, grab your coffee, grab some water. Let's begin. Beginning today in a seated position. We're going to get moving quickly after that and then get into our weird twisting transition. So go ahead, close your eyes, roll your shoulders back, and let's breathe. Inhales through the nose, exhales out the nose, inhales through the nose, exhales out the nose. Good. Full, steady, gentle breath. allowing your intention to surface. So something calming, uplifting, relaxing, soothing, whatever you wish. Once you have that magical thing, your intention, sealing it with three cleansing breaths. So. Inhale through your nose, inhale, 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 hold, and exhale out the mouth. Good. Inhale through the nose, inhale, 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 we hold, and exhale out the mouth. Once more, big inhale through the nose, inhale, 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 hold, hold, sigh, let it go. Opening up your eyes, go ahead and swing around into a table top. So, wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and we are going to get nice and loose. So, just moving around, kind of side to side, very gentle kind of cat-cow movements, some of those more natural, mellow movements here to just kind of wake things up good okay now some actual cat cows so inhale drop your belly eye gaze lifts for that cow good exhale cat gently push the earth away from you good inhale cow slow just moving with your breath gentle exhale cat round slow inhale for that cow good. exhale cat good coming to a neutral spine wag it out move around coming into our tiger pose so take your left leg extend it back behind you good hold it there then very slowly lift your right arm up breathe hold focus and set it on down good just kind of waking up that core that low back extend your right leg back now good right leg comes back and then real slow left hand comes up breathe and setting things down wag it out move around Good. All right. Walking your hands and feet out. Downward facing dog. Good. Pedal things out. Waking up those calves, hamstrings. First down dog. So allow yourself to just 
Oops. To just play a little bit, move around, hopefully not knocking down or over <laughs> any beverages. Good. Okay. Let's get moving. We'll take that left leg, inhale three-legged. Exhale, bring it through base of your lunge. Good. Then slow, slow balance. Inhale, bring those hands on up. Good. Stay with it. Breathe. Hands come on down, framing that foot. Good. Very small standing splits. Lift that back leg. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, relax. And just hang, just relax in your forward fold. You can put a nice big bend in your knees to kind of help flatten out your back some. Nice and loose. Just hang, letting go. Relax. When you're ready, inhale for half lift, lengthen through your vertebra, exhale, hinge, forward, fold. Come on down, good. And then slowly, chin is last to rise, coming all the way up, hands up overhead, big sigh, let it go. Uh, inhale, hands up, and exhale, swan dive, coming all the way down, good. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, exhale, hinge, forward, fold. Hands on the mat, come back into plank pose, holding in your plank, breathe. Right knee, lower it down to the mat, good. Ground down your left heel behind you. Left hand comes up, modified side plank. Steady breath, good. And we're gonna switch things out, so coming to the next side. So bring your hand down, good. So we're gonna lower our left knee down, Right hand comes up, balance. And slowly come on down, good. And then back into plank pose, down dog. Good, okay. We have to do that next side, so right leg, bring it on through base of your lunge. Slow balance, not whipping your arms up with control. You got it. Breathe. And slowly bringing those hands down, standing splits, lift that back leg just a little bit. Exhale, forward fold, relax. Good. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, hinge, forward fold. Good. Chin is last to rise, slow, steady, coming all the way up. Hands up overhead, sigh. Ah, inhale, hands up. And exhale, fold, coming all the way down. Good. All right, inhale for brief half lift. Exhale, hinge, forward fold. Good, hands on the mat, come back into that plank pose, holding strong in your plank, high on those toes. Good, lower your left knee down, good. Right hand comes on up, coming into that modified side plank. Good, how's your breath? And coming back. Good. Regular plank. Now switching out opposite side, opposite side plank. So you lower your right knee down, left hand comes up. Keep with your breath, good. And back into plank pose, good. Come back into down dog. Very good. All right, let's take that right foot three-legged down dog, bring that foot through, good, and then come on up into lunge, keep your hands maybe at heart center, roll your shoulders back, breathe, getting ready for our twists, right, so left elbow, bring it down, twisting, good, hold, Look down at your feet, bring that left foot on up into a twisted chair. Good, and then twist, come through neutral. We're setting that opposite elbow down. So right elbow comes down, good. Taking things nice and easy, and then twisting back to where we were. So we bring that left elbow down, good. Look down at your feet. Balance, take that left foot, bring it back into that twisted lunge, good. 
engage your core, come back to neutral. Good. Inhale, scoop up the earth. Exhale, hands down on the mat. Downward facing dog, good. Okay, we gotta do that next side. So left foot, three-legged, bring that foot through base of your lunge. And then go ahead, come on up into a lunge. Keep your hands here at heart center, good. All right, take that right elbow, bring it on down, twisting, breathing. Good, look down at your feet. Okay, take that right foot, step it up, top of your mat for that twisted lunge, good. And then when you're ready, coming into the opposite side, so twisting through neutral, and then bring that left elbow down. Good, how's your breath? Lining things up with your breath, so stay here, take an inhale. Exhale, twist. Coming back through, opposite side. Good, okay, so your right elbow is down on your knee. Look down at your feet. Take that right foot, balance, balance, bring it back into that twisted lunge, good. Coming back to neutral. The inhale, scoop up the earth. Exhale, hands down. Downward facing dog, good. All right, weight shifts forward into plank pose, holding here, and then come all the way down. Do that, good. Prop yourself up into that sphinx pose. Good, so doing this transition, there's kind of a lot of elements to it. So first let's find our frog. Take that left knee and bring it on up. Good, so left knee comes up and we can just relax on down, half frog. So just breathe, kind of opening up that left hip here. Some folks feel this right away, others we don't really feel too much of the stretch, so just a very gentle hip opener here. A couple breaths, just breathe, you've got it. Dropping yourself back up into that sphinx pose, kind of a sphinx frog, if you will. Take your right hand, thread it underneath that left armpit. So thread it underneath, walk it out, walk it out. And then when you are ready, take your entire left arm, left shoulder, and just roll on back, twisting, twisting, twisting. Good. So coming into that supine twist. So you may be kind of stuck part way. It's okay. You can keep coming, keep coming. If this knee, you know, kind of lifts off, that's okay. You got it. And slowly coming back. Untwisting. Coming back into your sphinx pose. Good. Perfect opportunity to a sip of water, a sip of coffee if you wish. Good. Okay, next side. So we take that right knee, bring it on up, half frog. So thinking 90 degree angles at your hip, at your knee, at your ankle there. Good. And you can just kind of mellow out, relax here in your half frog. Just breathe. Really breathing deep. Dropping yourself back up, good. Okay, left arm threads underneath that right armpit. So left arm, thread it underneath, walk it out farther, 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 and then release that right arm all the way back. Ah, coming into your supine twist. Ah, good, just breathing into your low back. So this is a weird way to get into this twist, I know. So taking things slow as you wish. How's your back? Coming slowly back into that sphinx pose. Good. Okay. We're going to not really flow through this because there's kind of so much twisting and turning here, but moving just 
overall a little quicker through things. So the left knee comes up half frog. Good. Just hold here, kind of perching maybe a little bit. Maybe you come down to your forearms a little bit more, coming a little closer to the mat. Good. Okay. So when you're ready, stay here. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Right arm. Inhale as you thread it through. Exhale, twist. Good. That supine twist. Coming back all the way into that sphinx pose. Good. It's kind of fun, right? Weird pretzely twisty movement. Take that right knee, bring it on up, hold here. Maybe you can come down a little bit lower in your half frog. Good. Stay here, inhale. Stay here, exhale. Left arm, inhale, thread it through. Exhale, twist. Good. Breathe. And coming back ah, to Sphinx pose. Let's push back for a very brief, happy, ba or not happy baby, <laughs> child's pose. So we're just ah, kind of getting a little opposite stretch in that low back there. Just relax, forehead down, a couple breaths. We're going to do it one more, one more round through. So, okay, go ahead, find yourself in Sphinx. Good. Identify that left knee, bring it on up. Half frog. Good. Just holding in your half frog. Breathe, take an inhale. Take an exhale. It's going to be your right arm this time. Inhale it right, inhale. <laughs> take your arm and inhale it through. So. Exhale, twist. Good. And coming on back into Sphinx. Onto your forearms, good. We're gonna take that right knee, bring it on up. Good. Stay here, take an inhale. Stay here, exhale. Left arm, inhale it through. Exhale, twist. to neutral to that sphinx pose. Go ahead and ah, from here, rolling on over onto your back for our Shavasana. Feet fall out, arms fall out. Getting a quick sip of water or coffee if you wish before lying on down. Good. Feet fall out, arms fall on out. Let go, relax, just breathe. Soft. Letting go, dissolving, good. Shavasana, or wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingertips. Eventually, making your way 
back up to a seated position so we can bow together. Uh, awesome job. Good work today on our kind of weird, fun, twisty flow episode 49 in the books. And we have one more to go to complete this full set of 50 classes. So be here next week for the last and final morning coffee flow episode. And thank you so much for being here. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell, get those notifications. And lastly, if you really want to take your yoga practice to the next level, open the description below where you will discover a brand new themed yoga challenge every single month. My name is Landon Slaughter, helping you discover that fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. I hope your coffee is more or less done and you are now ready to face your day with resilience and grace. I'll see you in a video very soon. Take care and namaste.